Good day, parents, teachers, friends, and learners. Thank you for joining me and welcome to this maiden edition of Learning Journey with Dr. Jerry. This pandemic has brought so many changes in our lives. Everyone, big businessmen, small vendors, office workers, carpenters, employees, literally every single person has been affected in one way or another by this pandemic. Perhaps one of the drastic changes that this has brought us in our society is in the field of education. In the previous years, we have heard about flexible learning, homeschooling, modular learning, or alternative education. But these used to be just that, terms that we have been hearing but barely or not experiencing. But this pandemic has made these terms closer to home. Many of us now, perhaps for the first time, are forced to sit with our learners while groping how to facilitate learning. Well, fret not, because today you are watching this video to address this issue and hopefully you will learn more. After this presentation, my prayers are that you will be able to have a personal understanding on how to facilitate learning during this COVID-19 pandemic. And second is that you will be able to apply practical strategies that will help you facilitate learning. Are you ready? Let's start this journey. Several educational, governmental, and even commercial institutions published articles that talked about this issue. And in preparing for this presentation, I have consulted the United Nations International Children Educational Foundation or UNICEF websites, reputable universities and their websites, as well as articles of highly regarded authors. And let's delve right into the contents. Having personal and intentional conversation with our learner is the first step that we must do if we want to facilitate learning. Yes, we need to take the time to sit and talk to our child about COVID-19 and how it has affected the educational landscape. We must inform them that because of this pandemic, everyone has to adjust and that they are now about to experience what they are not used to. That the classroom setting is not an option for now, and that they are to commence home-based learning. This is something that parents tend to forget or ignore. Sometimes we think that we don't need to explain things to our students, to our children, that they just have to do whatever we ask them to. Anyway, we are their parents and we're supposed to know better, right? Well, we have to change our mindset. Bear in mind that our learners will be experiencing this drastic change and we have to cushion them from the shock of all these new things. And one of the ways to do that is just to sit with them and talk to them. Let me reiterate. The first step that we must do to ensure learning in this pandemic period is to talk to our learners. Now, part of our agenda as we talk to our learners is to start establishing our learning environment. Remember, when our learners are in school, their teachers have established classroom rules, procedures, and even the routines. Learners were oriented when to go out, when to put their things away, when they can play, when they have to stay put. These rules, procedures, and routines have been established in the classroom. But now, our learners are confined in our home. And whether we like it or not, we become their teachers, learning facilitators. Thus, we must establish our own classroom rules and procedures, and we must intentionally build learning routines. 
Harry Wong once aptly observed that the number one problem in the classroom is not the lack of discipline. It is the lack of procedures and routines. And I agree with him. As a classroom teacher, I have personally witnessed how chaos can result from lack of established rules, procedures, and routines. Let me give you an example. When I was a novice teacher, I was teaching middle school student grade 8. And I was new to the school and this story happened on the first few weeks of the school year. I gave a quiz for the day and as I was scanning, I find that one of my students was reading a novel in the classroom while her classmates were still engaged in answering the questions. And yes, I was insulted. And I spoke to her. I asked her, what are you doing? Isn't it still quiz time? Well, she boldly replied, Mr. I'm done with the quiz and my grade 7 teacher told us that when we are done, we can do anything we want as long as we are not disturbing others. You can just imagine, I was lost of words. You see, I failed to establish the procedure. I did not inform my students what I expect them to do after they finish the quiz. So what did she do? She did what her previous teacher has told her. Now, is it her fault that she was reading a novel while the rest were still answering the questions? Of course not. It was my fault because I was not clear enough to tell her what I expected her to do after she finishes the task. You see parents, your learners may do actions that may insult or offend you and chances are you will be provoked and may start raising your voice. But the question is, why are you being upset? Have you taken the time to really sit with your learner and talk to him or her about your classroom rules and procedures? Have you established your routine? Talking to our learner is the first and most important step that we must take and during this conversation, establish rules, procedures, and routines. But do not stop there. It is also imperative that we inform our learners what we expect them to learn this school year. Now, we do not really need to be very specific of each topic that our learners must learn but we must give a general big picture of what they will be learning while they are at home. Why do we need to do this? Because we have to inform them of their learning goals. Just think of it like this. Whenever you have to drive, you would like to know your destination first before you switch on the engine, don't you? So do our learners. You know how it feels like to be a passenger and be oblivious of the destination? It's a torture! So please, do not academically torture your child. Be more involved. Ask the teacher for the curriculum guide or syllabus. Take a look at what they are supposed to learn in this level and then cascade the information to them. You can simply tell, you know, Yehan? This school year, in science, Daddy will help you discover more about matter, energy, and simple machines. And you know what? We will even talk about the Earth and space. You know, parents, when we do this, when we talk to our students, we are not only leading them to their academic destination, but it will also help them to realize that they are accountable to you because you know what they are supposed to learn. Yes, dear parents, we must talk to our learners, establish rules, procedures, and routines, and inform them of the general picture of what they will be learning. But this is just the first step. There are more to follow. So what are you waiting for? Click the like button and hit subscribe and watch the next episode of Ensuring Learning in a home-based setting. See you again soon!